Continue our team coverage in New Iberia. As Acadiana and other parts of the state begin to clean up and recover from the devastating weather we saw over the past few days, we're seeing the helpers. Both the Red Cross and Second Harvest Food Bank are mobilizing as well as Good Samaritans. But we can't forget about the hardworking power crews who get us all back online. Let's check in with News 10's Zane Hogue. Zane has been tracking the power restoration for us. That's right, Dalfred. Here in New Iberia, crews have been working almost nonstop to restore power that was knocked out for many in the city. At the height of the storm, we had about 3,400 customers without power. They had numerous broken poles, and they had a lot of flying debris and a lot of down wires. Once the tornadoes passed, Phoenix says crews moved out to begin working on restoring power. Um, spoke with one of our distribution operations managers, and he was telling me about how how devastating the storm was because they dealt with a lot of flying debris. He said, like um, coming from like a rooftop or parts of a rooftop, and I guess that just speaks to how damaging the winds were. With crews removing debris while Clico worked on power, Phoenix says the work continued through the night and through the day today. So we worked into the night to restore power and was able to restore power to the majority of our customers the day of the storm after, you know, the wind succeeded. And we still have about 400 customers without power and they will receive power today. And with crews working throughout the day, the goal remains to totally restore power today. In New Iberia, I'm Zane Hope for KLFY News 10. Thank you.